All right, so let's get towards wrapping things up and talk about the flow of association and causation in this basic graph. Given the Markov and minimality assumption, we can talk about association flowing in this graph. So association flows directly from T to Y and from Y to T, it's symmetric, and it flows from T to X to Y and from Y to X to T as well. Then when we add in the causal edges assumption, we can also talk about the flow of causation. So causation, also known as causal association, flows along directed paths. The edge from T to Y is how causation is flowing from T to Y in this graph. And this is not symmetric at all. Causation only flows from T to Y. It doesn't flow from Y to T. This is because T is a cause of Y, but Y isn't a cause of T by the causal edges assumption. And one way we can refer to this association flowing through the confounder X here is just as confounding association. Importantly, it's not causal association. So if we look at the big graph that we saw two slides ago and we condition on the collider X2 here, we can see that association flows along all of these paths. And only the middle path through the M's here is how causal association or causation flows. The rest of these other paths are non-causal association. And this flow of non-causal association from T to Y is why association is not causation. That concludes this week's lecture. Go ahead and leave any questions or comments you have in the YouTube comments down below. And if you want to know right away when a new video or lecture gets uploaded, then go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell below. See you in next week's lecture.